me ask you a little bit about the negotiations to try to limit uh, Iran's uh, nuclear power. If we can come to some agreement with Iran, do you feel confidence that, uh, confident that we will have the intelligence capability to know if they're cheating? Well, one of the, I think, very strong parts of the framework that is being discussed and hopefully will be negotiated to a settlement is that there's a very rigorous inspection campaign uh, that's part of this uh, framework, that the IAEA and others will have access to the various nuclear facilities. But I believe that the U.S. intelligence and other intelligence agencies will need to be able to continue to watch, monitor, and see whether or not Ar Iran is it adhering and abiding by the various uh, requirements of, of the, the deal. Uh, we're working very closely with our partners uh, to do that. We've learned a lot about the Iranian program over the last decade. Uh, so I'm confident that we're going to be able to bring to bear some of those capabilities that we, and expertise that we have developed. The uh, travel ban on the so-called Taliban Five, these are the five uh, prisoners who were at Guantanamo who were released uh, in exchange for uh, the release of uh, uh, Bowie uh, Bergdahl. Uh, there was a ban on them. They couldn't travel for a year uh, from, from their host country. Uh, that ban is ending. What, uh, what should be done about that? Are you concerned that these people might go back to the fight now? Well, they're Afghan citizens, and we have been engaged with the Qatari government. I've talked personally to senior Qatari officials about uh, their monitoring of these individuals that have been in Qatar for the last year, uh, and looking at what are the arrangements that could be put in place, and what is going to be the disposition of these individuals, whether they'll be sent back to Afghanistan or able to stay in Doha. Uh, so this is continuing. It's part of the ongoing process of uh, discussing with our Qatari partners what's in the best interests of uh, national security. Well, what do you want? Do you want them to stay there, or, or you want to put them in jail? What, what do you want to do with them? I want to make sure that they're not going to be allowed to return to the fight. And I think this is part of a rehabilitation process, as well as a monitoring uh, and observing process. Uh, so uh, arrangements that could be worked out with the gutteries, with the Afghans, uh, I think we're trying to still look at what are the, uh, the, the possibilities here. All right. Well, Mr. Director, thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast. It was a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much. All the best. And best wishes to you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be right back with our panel in just a minute.